Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host, say Joe True and Love. Through your AEW Dynamite Holiday Bash review for December 22nd, 2021. Very packed and very fun show tonight. The Dynamite version of Holiday Bash. Three days before Christmas. Happy Holidays. But... Was a jam packed show, and it's gonna be a load show as well for Christmas night. Um, I should have a review either Sunday or Monday, depending on how things go, because I also have football uh, for that day and then the day after. So. One of those days after, but I will get a Rampage review for the portion of Holiday Bash. But the show here started off in good fashion. Adam Cole versus Orange Cassidy. Very fun open. Um, Adam Cole always has... A great reaction. Orange Cassidy, two of the most over guys in pro wrestling. Match really picked up halfway through. They were exchanging pins as kind of a stalemate course throughout and then getting into it. Cassidy countered out of the corner, but he got backstabber by Cole. Then was thrown back first into the turnbuckle. Land upside down style like Shawn Michaels almost in the past. But Cassie follow up with offense out of the break. He had crossbody. Follow with a tilt world DT for near fall. Then at the end of it, the best friends came out and attacked the Bucks who were at ringside or making their way to- towards ringside. They brought Orange hit Suicida on the Bucks, taking them out for a bit. Cole went for a Yushi Goroshi, but it was countered to a stunner. By Orange. Then a diving DT for near fall. Call it the Yushi Goroshi. And then. After a bit. Cassie. Went for. A couple of surprise near falls. Hit Creo. Followed a Michinoku driver. Cassie then had his shades on. Went from the top rope. Took some time. Met with super kick. Followed with a Panama Sunrise. And then. Cole went for a cocky. Hands in pockets. Like cover. And was in near fall. And then Cassie looked like he was going to go for the orange punch. But the camera was very tightly zoomed on Orange Cassie. And you knew with what Cole said last week, there would be a present for... The Bucks and Bobby Fish this week. And you heard the reaction of the crowd. So you're wondering what was happening. Then all of a sudden Kyle O'Reilly. Well. While Bobby Fish was distracting a referee. Kyle Riley ambushes 
Orange Cassidy. Allowing Cole to hit the boom to the back of the head of Orange Cassidy. For the win. Kyle Riley is all elite. Great to see Red Dragon reformed in AEW. Kyle Riley, three members of the Unspewed Era are now in AEW. And Great to see, great to see just the visual. All three left in the ring. The Young Bucks came down and they were sectioned off. They were in the court of the ring. O'Reilly and Fish they were posing for the camera and Adam Cole was in the middle. He was walking eyes with the Bucks and he was pretty much torn. I mean, it looked like the Bucks didn't know what was going on. They didn't really approve. In the end, Cole left with Fish and O'Reilly, and the Bucks followed suit, but after a bit, so a bit confliction within the elite, so something to keep an eye on, but great for O'Reilly be in AEW away from the mess of NXT and WWE. Just very good, very good start to the Holiday Bash. So January 5th, two weeks, is the debut of AEW on TBS. And which the main event will be Hangman Adam Page and Brian Nelson, the rematch for the AEW World Championship. Hangman, he was out there with Tony Schiavone. He talked about disappointment and the outcome of his match with Brian. Last week. Our winter's coming. And Brian came out to confront. Hey man. Saying oh the entitled cowboy. Has the title and he's disappointed. Saying that everyone knows. And the fans should be disappointed that they all know he was kicking his butt for an hour and he didn't get the victory. So Hangman said, yeah. Brian was trying to sink him. And that he was dragging him to deep waters. But Heyman said that he swam within the last few minutes. And he said that if he just had a few more minutes, he would have drowned Brian. So, very back and forth, and Brian offered up the idea of judges 
for their rematch in two weeks. And Hangman said that he's gone through every match possible to pick for its match. But if Brian wants judges, go ahead. But pay them in advance because they won't earn it. Saying that Hangman has put too much into his journey. Too much for the AEW World Championship. And now Winters are at the TBS debut. He will beat him. So. The first match was great. At Winters Coming. Only have to see how. It's going to go down at. On TBS in two weeks. Should be fun. So then we got the pinnacle backstage. So. Nice segment. Harwood. Talked about Punk. Attacking his family. Singing this or that. They didn't have a problem with them but. Now that he's attacked his family, they have a problem. And now when you're in the pinnacle, you're always on top. So then we got Wardlow out there against some guy. He very simple. Four power bombs. That was it. Another Victory for Mr. Mayhem. Another chair shot parlay by Sean Spears after simple gets job done. Another victory for Wardlow. So then Dan Lambert and Man of the Year. They were back up in the skybox area. Lambert talked about Scorpio Sky, saying how he's been the only one to have been Jericho twice or pinned Jericho twice. One half of the inaugural AW Tag Team Champions. Talks about Ethan Page saying he wrestled better, he talks better, he looks better. He's the whole package. Lambert also talked about Tony Khan. Talked about an issue with Tony Khan. How he was trying to use Dan Lambert to get cheers for Cody. And he talked about Cody being a bigger dick than he is. So. Dan Lambert on fire on the microphone again. You know. Not much to say. Just a great promo. By Lambert. Send Britt Baker. Britt Baker. Miss DMD. There's crisp party backstage. There was hats. There was stockings. Bunch of stuff. Tony Schiavone and Jamie here were there. Tony Schiavone did a quick interview asking about Rio, asking about the challenge at Battle of the Belts. Britt talked about how she didn't slide in to take anyone's spot. 
that she's on a different level level than Riho. And that all she real wants for Christmas is her AEW title shot. But for all for anyone who has seen the Christmas story, this is a nice little quote from that. She said to Riho, she'll shoot her eye out, kid. So that was a little chuckle. Well, funny moment from his DMD. Confident as ever. Then we got probably the low point of the night. We got Nile Rose and Ruby So, which is kind of strange, but TBS title semifinals. So, this match was okay. I mean, it did win need to, I guess. So, Rose was trying to bring a chair into the match, but she got the chair knocked into her by a drop kick to the face. So, she was down. One of the weirdest moments of the match. So, Vicky, who's at ringside, she's casually walks over. Like, don't mind her, Ruby. So, Ruby gets on top rope, and while the referee's distracted, Vicky just dip, gently dumps her on the top rope, attacking her shoulder, and... Nara was targeting the shoulder of Vicky again. Ruby has had multiple surgeries on her shoulder in the past, so they brought that up. She had no f- future to Vicky. Look kind of sloppy, but whatever. And then. Now hit the beast bomb to Ruby for near fall. Now it was on top rope, but so hit the no future. Two Nyla off the top rope, Pinder one two three, and Ruby So advances to the finals of TBS style tournament. Next week, it'll be Thunder Rosa for Jake Cargill. In the other semifinals. To determine. In which will likely be Thunder Rosa. First. Ruby So. Should be fun. For the TBS. Title. For the women. Malachi Black. Malachi Black. He defeated Griff Garrison here. Although Griff Garrison. Made a very good effort for what he could do. So, Griff targeted him or went at him right after their bell, but met with a big kick to the head. And then, Black and Pillman, who was at ringside, they went face to face, but Griff hit Suicida on Black on the outside. Not as great as Darby Allen's Suicida, but good enough. Back in the ring. Shots are Black targeting the leg of Garrison. Griff hit his stiff elbow knocked Locked down for a near fall. Black again was targeting the leg of Griff and hit big knee. Went for a half Boston crap. But Griff immediately gave up. I'm not sure if he tapped or not, but yeah. 
So then right after Pillman went for the save, took Black off Griff. But then right when he turned around, met with a, a Sin Eater. I almost call it Blackout, but whichever. Sin Eater, Blackout, Roundhouse Kick by Black. And Bill Mill was knocked out. So Black gets the win here and demolishes the Varsity Blondes. So, lineups for next week, New Year's Smash. So, some match lineup. So, A. Kingston, Santana Ortiz versus 2.0, Daniel Garcia. Best Friends in Orange Cassidy versus Am Cole, Bobby Fish, and Kyle O'Reilly. Will make his AEW in ring debut on Dynamite next week. Should be fun. Along with the other semifinals of the TBS tournament. Saturday for the Christmas edition of Rampage. Again, we got Hook for Spare Bronson. We got Cody for Sammy Guevara for the TNT Championship. Layla Hirsch versus Chris Satlander. Should be a fun match. And Jungle Boy versus Isaiah Cassie of Private Party, who we haven't seen in forever, but we'll see about this match. Should be interesting. Also, the return of JR next week. We miss him. And Taz, very good commentator, but we miss JR as well. Good to see JR is doing better. So then we got MJF and FTR for CM Punk and Dar- Darby Allen and Singh. So, match was fun. Also a little comedic. So, the war paint on Sting, first of all, was great. CM Punk inspired war paint with a CM Punk shirt. Darby on had some great war paint on as well. More Sting inspired. And then CM Punk also had Sting inspired war paint. Some tights looked looked kind of like Sting, old school Sting, except without the blondness in his hair. Against MJF and FTR, one of the stories of this match was MJF avoiding Punk. At all costs, he would re- run away from him at all costs. In fact, one point during the match, Sam Pong Chase and JF through the crowd up towards the concourse area, back down near the ring. Just crazy. But. Still a solid match out of six. So. Before the first break. And. Just. Darby owned his suicide is the best in the business. It's like he shot out of a can. Like just. Like when you least expect it. It's like. Just like that. I mean, hard to describe. He's just so fast when it comes to that. But he took out all the members of the pinnacle. 
Then he got back from break. It was a hot tag to sing. He has stinger swashes on everyone. Then a coffin splash by Darby along with the shine wizard knee by Punk. Sting locked in the Scorpion Deathlock, but MJF hit Sting face first onto the map for a near fall. And then back from break, a hilarious moment of the match. So Sting was getting beaten down here, and Sting was trying to make the hot tag, but Cash, because Sting was on the ropes, Cash just gently pushed Sting, and he fell face first in the MJF's, MJF's, and just a hilarious spot of the match. Friendly fire. Sing made the hot tag to CM Punk. He was taking on all of FTR. No MJF. Again, the start of the match. Punk is suicida. Fall with a crossbody from their fall. It was basically like ping pong offense off of FTR. Neckbreaker for a two count. Beautiful spot by FTR. Superflex frog splash combo for a two count. Darby, he took out Cash on the top rope. MJF was basically hiding from CM Punk. It looked like Darby Allen took out MJF over the time to keep his table. And then FTR hit the big rig on the CM Punk for a two count. Sing broke it up. He hurled. MJF out of the ring, and then the best spot of the match, Sting dived. It's so crazy how old he is and him doing this stuff. Sting dived off the top rope on all the members of the pinnacle on the outside. Great moment. MJF was back in the ring. CM Punk was about to hit him with the go to sleep, but Dax took one for the team. He bumped NJF out of the ring, took the GTS, Scorpion Death Drop by Sting, Coffin Drop by Darby, which nearly missed for the win. CM Punk, Darby, and Singh get the win to end the Holiday Bash edition for Dynamite. Heck of a main event. Heck of a show. Kyle O'Reilly. Again, very good. He's in AEW. Just great to see. You knew he was AEW bound. Could we see Johnny Gargano? I would love to see it. In the future, maybe. We'll see. I mean, reports of perhaps the Briscoe is being signed. Maybe. Um, again, Tony Khan said that there would be many new signings to AEW. So... Some more fun in the weeks to come, but 
nonetheless, that's the episode and the review for you guys. Uh, solid show. Again, either Sunday or Monday. I'll be back here for Rampage Review Christmas Edition. Also, for my sports overview topics fans, I post episode number 79 of sports overview topics yesterday, so you can find that on the channel due to postponed games for this weekend. But so I was able to post it, so you can find that on the channel. And if you like this video, like the click the like as well as subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. But yeah, nonetheless, thank you. Be safe. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Peace.